Hello and welcome to Vidra Ambred channel and also welcome used to the series of video tutorials on getting started with TIR task kernel. So in this tutorial, so we are going to see uh, how we can configure the TIR task. Okay, so not only TIR task, every R task has its own configuration file. So with that we can able to uh, enable or disable the uh, different R task features. Okay, and also we'll see example projects. So TIR task kernel configuration. So the kernel is uh, built based on the uh, TR task kernel configuration. So as I said, so every R task has its own configuration file to enable or disable the uh, different uh, kinds of features. Okay. Suppose you want to enable the semaphores, you can enable or if you want to disable the semaphores, you can disable it with the config file. Uh, so you can able to enable or disable the uh, different features of TR task. So whereas in TR task uh, kernel configuration, they will provide a, a file called .cfg okay and this dot gfg uh, is responsible for configuring the tr task okay this is basically a javascript file and uh, you can uh, edit this config file using uh, text format or also they will provide uh, a graphical format to uh, modify this okay we will see both so how we will edit in text format how we will edit in graphical format and uh, so this config file is responsible for generating the kernel objects and the libraries while building an application. So basically based on your configuration. So while you are building, it will generate the kernel objects. Now coming to the kernel objects. Okay. So there are uh, three ways you can create a kernel objects in TIR task. The first one is dynamically create the uh, kernel objects. Second one is the dynamically construct the uh, objects. And the third one is statistically creating an objects. So when it comes to a dynamically creating an objects, uh, you will have a control over the uh, like you know certain things. Like for example, you want to delete a uh, for example a task, you can do that using a dynamically creation. And uh, and also you will have a error block uh, which will give you an um, an errors if you face any errors during the execution of your objects or the uh, the API calls provided by the kernel objects, it, it can be uh, seen using the error block. Uh, so dynamically creation requires a heap memory. So we need to allocate some uh, RAM space for the heap. TIR task kernel use that heap memory to create the task, semaphores, a software interrupts, etc. Dynamically construct. The application can construct the kernel objects. The API takes the structure instead of allocating it from the heap memory. So many of the constructs do not require error block. So as we, as I said, so dynamically create required error block, but it, the, the, the like you know the dynamically construct you don't require error block, which also helps to reduce of the footprint. Okay, the code of the code footprint. Some constructs might allocate the memory internally. See the specific APIs for more details. So for example, this is one of the uh, TIR task API uh, which will be used to uh, construct or like you know create the tasks okay whereas in case of a dynamically create instead of construct okay you will see something called task underscore create so it shows that okay so instead of allocating the uh, like you know objects in the heap memory it will use the structure to allocate the objects or to create kernel objects so then the, the third one is the statistically create. So in applications, like you know, as I said, right? So TIR task provides a, a configuration file called .cfg file. So with which you can able to create uh, your task uh, using a code, uh, like you know, it's a JavaScript code, or you can use the GUI interface to create the tasks as well as the semaphores, or software interrupts, or hardware interrupts, timers, or clocks what are all the features that are provided by the TIR task, you can do that. Once you create an object with a statistically create, you cannot able to uh, delete that. Okay, So that feasibility will not be uh, available in the statistically create. And um, there is only one object which you cannot create uh, dynamically construct or the create that is an ideal object or I would say ideal task. So the question comes into picture is uh, which one to choose in our projects? It's all up to the application engineer, uh, depending on the use case and depending on the memory constraints. So it's up to the application engineer to choose the the relevant uh, method of the TIR task kernel objects creating. Okay. So in this series of video tutorials, I'm going to consider the dynamically uh, dynamic creation, so which will use the uh, heap memory. Then uh, all TIR task examples, like you know, they are provided along with the simple link SDK, so they will be using the dynamically construct. 
so everyone has its own uh, advantages and disadvantages so this is the link uh, where you will find the uh, more information about the creating the kernel objects okay and i will provide this link in the description okay the next one is the type of uh, example projects so when we install the simple link sdk so it comes with the different kinds of examples uh, which are provided by the ti engineers along with the simple link sdk and uh, if you look at that simple link sdk you will see two kinds of projects so one uh, uh, one project which includes the dot config file okay and the other project the most of the examples from the ti uh, drivers examples okay that actually uses the a uh, separate project for the kernel configuration so that means uh, let's say for example um, you will have your own uh, project to create your application using the ti task but like you know to create a configuration what they have done is they created one more uh, project okay so that will have this configuration file uh, which can be used for the um, enabling or disabling the different features of the ti task okay so both works fine and uh, th there is a note like you know so the separate kernel configuration project approaches works better when you want to have a same application to use a ti atas or free atas okay uh, for example uh, you want to uh, validate an application using a ti atas and free atas and you don't want to like you know touch the configuration file because since you have already done with the ti atas and you want to do the same for free atas okay so that is possible uh, with this kind of an uh, approach so where it will have the your application will be the same okay but when it comes to free atas you will be changing the uh, the your, your you will be changing the your application with respect to the free atas but you don't want to change the configuration file so that way this guy, this method will works good but as we are uh, going to learn this ti atas right so i recommended separate dot config file in the project now i'm going to show you how uh, these two projects looks like okay this one and this one now uh, open the code composer studio if you don't know how to install the code composer studio please watch my previous video tutorials and it will ask for the workspace so uh, this is one uh, workspace i have created uh, called uh, ti underscore artas underscore workspace okay uh, on my d drive so click on launch it's always uh, recommended to create your own workspace okay so the moment you open the workspace okay uh, you will see uh, something called project explorer here and here you can able to uh, create some projects and uh, you can also import the existing projects so let me go to the simple link sdk folder so go to c and then go click on the ti so this is where you all your uh, softwares are installed so this is something related to the code composer studio and uh, this is something related to the simple link msp 42 sdk okay so click on this and then you see here in the examples and click there are two kinds here not uh, based and atas based click on the atas based and uh, our we our device is msp 432 p01r and then here you see we have a driver examples which is based on the ti atas drivers all these examples will use just a separate uh, uh, configuration file project okay i will show you that and apart from this uh, there are other uh, examples also they have provided with respect to the sysbios sysbios is also known as a ti atas so you if you open that uh, these are the um, separate config file. like you know each project has its own configuration file let's see if i open this you will have a uh, go to the ti atas you will have a dot config file okay so let me like me let me uh, import one or two projects from the ti atas one is based on the ti drivers and other one is based on the sysbios so the way you need to import is click on the import projects click on here go expand the C, C++ and then click on the ccs projects and then here we need to browse to the simple link sdk let me go to here c drive and then go to ti click on simple link sdk examples atas msp 432 first i'll import the sysbios so let me open the hello all project uh, so here you will be pop up with the two options one is the ccs uh, compiler another one is the gcc compiler we'll go with the ccs compiler click on finish and also i'll import the another example from the ti drivers so here you can see right click on it import ccs project 
browse go back to one folder back go to di drivers uh, so you can use the empty project that's not an issue so here again it's popping up two options rather than four options one is for free artas another one is for tartas so we'll go with the tarta ccs and the moment i import you see when i import the empty project okay you don't see any config file here okay but along with this empty project there is a one more project is that is imported that is called tarta spills underscore msp underscore of uh, your board name underscore release underscore ccs and here you have the config file but actually um there is one more also see, this is something related to the release a release will not done, will not contain any uh, uh features uh, enabled with respect to the debugging okay uh, but there is one more called uh, the with the same name underscore debug underscore ccs okay let me import that also so import ccs go here so that will be there in the utilities not utilities i think one one step back go to the kernel tartas builds and you see these are the two actually these projects okay if you import like you know select this folder it will import like this so this one is showing as a class mark since we already imported this one so we will import the debug one okay yes so the difference between the release underscore ccs and the debug underscore ccs is uh, very simple in the release underscore dot config file you don't have any features related to the logging uh, logging in the nothing but like you know debugging of uh, tartas application okay but whereas in the debug underscore ccs you will have all the debugging features enabled that is only the difference so the way you can change to release or debug uh, so you just right click on this project go to properties and then click on build and then go to dependencies and here you can change okay so currently the release underscore ccs is activated but you can remove this and then you can add the debug one okay so it's all up to you which project you want to use uh, both are same so one project will have the configuration file separately whereas the other project will have the both config file loaded with the project itself so that's all for this tutorial uh, if you like this video please share subscribe and comment uh, i'll try to uh, give you a proper explanation to your questions and also share it to your friends thanks for watching it